right up, we can put some of the end in the other barrel. Alex is getting tip in the hospital. Cut Dave's the customer's gonna take him for me so I can stay here and carry on patching. That's his um, reminder to telephone call for his mum. Extension. Friday morning. Friday the 6th? Yes. Friday the 6th and we're just leaving Hodgson's. Our favourite tool hire place. Always good service, always friendly, always good stuff. Where's the van beat So um, we're heading over to the job now and we're going to get this steel in as quick as we can and get tidied up as quick as we can because we're on extra time now. So we need to get it done and get out and get paid. So um, we'll see you over there. Right, we've arrived. It's uh, what's the real time now? Ten to eight. Ten to eight. So, it's stealing, patching up, bit of snagging, good tidy up, and out of here. So let's get it, get it out of here as quick as we can. solid under this end and we can swing it in and then we can lift it up then with the afro as we go. Uh, yeah, a couple of them. That's as high as we can go. Is it? Yeah, give me a shovel in. Uh, can I have a step ladder please? I'm going to hop up. 
You just steady that off, so it looks a bit twisted. I'm gonna have to take more of this out. Or well, maybe not off to we're at the level there, aren't we? One, two, three. That's gone. How's that for you? Let me just check. I should get the action back with it. You should get that in. Hey? You should get it in. Okay. See if we can stabilize it. Yeah. Make sure you have it steady. You got it now? Tell Al, get an acro. Let's do this safely. Uh, get, just get an acro under it for now and we'll drop the genie lift down. We'll pack the genie lift up a little bit. Just to no, get that's, that's bit not left. really sturdy enough for an aqua to go on, is it? It'll just tip. Your end. No, yeah, but like it'll tip your end once I start lifting it up. No, we hold it. The, the aqua is not lifting it, the aqua is just holding it while we move the genie. Get the genies there, we need to put it back down. Come on, right. Is, it, is that as far as it'll go on? Yeah, it won't go no further, you want me to get on the fast work. Right. I think that's going to have to cut out a bit, isn't it? Yeah. It's so bloody wide. Right, I'll let go of it. Okay, that's... Okay, let go. I've not got it. Yeah, that's okay. That's safe. It's not going to... It's falling back that way. It makes the water. Right, let's get the genie out of the way. We might still be able to use the genie now. Pardon? If we pack the genie up, put some on top of the floor, we well, could even try putting the forks upside down. We've got the acros out, haven't we, sir? It's a long way to go, that though. You won't get that with acros. Oh. Your end's alright. I hate leaving it when it's not attached. Oh, it's this, the water cleaner makes that water. So. Say that show me bless it, it can't go that way because of that wall and it can't go that way because of that wall.
supposed to be on this side. Okay. Has to be on the stable side. needs going over, but that one's going out that way. Before we go up any further. I might get under that ladder now. Actually, Alex, yeah. it's not yet. Yeah. Um, better crank it up first, there's a brick in the way. We'll get over the brick. You said don't crank it because you wanted to move it. I know, but there's, there's a brick still at the bottom, then you're in the way. Just go back 50 minutes to get over that brick. Can I crank it up? Yeah. yeah. What was that? Bit more. Oh. No. Right. Touch more. Stopping it. Because then it's sitting on it. No. It's, it's slotting in above that. That's the plan anyway. It just needs the top corner knocking off. You know what I mean? See this end. Well, I think it can start going up now. Yeah. Oh. Right away, Dave. Oh, it's tight. 
Okay. The rest in the acro. I think it's I think it's just grabbed all the joists now. I think that's why it's tight. We just need to get it into position, make sure we're it's nowhere near tight. Isn't it? No. Right. I just need banging across there, we need a bit of wood in the wood panel. No, it needs to go up. No, it's, it's not, it's, it's on all the joists, mate. It's not. Well there's they like, need packing then. There's, there's like a 20mm gap here. It's on the rest of them. It must just be that one then. They need just need packing after. I'm not bothered doing that. Well, it's not level. No, it's not. That's got the joist out. We can't, we can't level it. We've just got to follow the joists. No, I'm not accroing. You can if you want. But we need to get into position before we accro it. Looks like it's in position for me. Yeah. We need to get overhanging 20 mil. Yeah. I think I'll have to come back to you a little bit actually. Give a little tug. How's mine looking now? You sight it down with the wall. It looks okay, I think. Okay, right, let's get the acros under it then. You can get the genie down. You get, uh, get your door back on before we go. <laughs> and then that door, man. <laughs> right, it's in. In position, we just need to get it acroed up and uh, up tight. Okay. Alex is getting sick in the hospital. Cut Dave's a customer's going to take him for me so I can stay here and carry on patching. That's his um, reminder to get telephone call for his mum. Okay, it's uh, now 9.53, Alex is currently at his hospital appointment, I've just had a quick butty, now I'm going to get um, get the door back on, just in case he's ready before the customer gets back from main tree. So I'm going to get that on quick, and then once that's on I'm going to get up here and start patching. Um, got a bit of cutting to do there, for the blocks and the stuff under the uh, pad stones, pad stones are going there. Um, and we're going to leave, because we're only local, we don't live far from here, we're going to leave the acros in overnight with it being such a big hefty steel. I know we normally take them out straight away but we'll um, play it safe on this one. The steel isn't level but we can only follow what's there, the joists are all there. So we're just following the joists, um, it can be levelled up with the plasterboard, it, there's not a lot in it. But um, yeah, let's get this door on and get some patching done. Quick one I forgot to say. <coughs> Now that steel's up and on acros, got an acro at each end there, everything else can come out. So we'll put these two here and those three, four on that side, everything can come out. We've got loads of room to work then, I'm not messing around working around acros and stuff. So this one's staying in and the far one with the white, far one on the middle wall, everything else is coming out. This is the bit I enjoy because it opens everything up, it makes a massive difference. So I'm going to whip these out and then I can carry them up here then. I've measured up here so I'm going to get my cuts done for that and then a couple of little cuts for the and then um, so I'll put it back together and tidy up.
Had stones complete, got that done before dinner. That took over an hour and three attempts. That wasn't fun. But it's all packed up with slate and the pad stone is actually tight against the steel. No bed. Sometimes we have a bed, sometimes we don't. There's occasions we don't. That one again, it's in and it's packed up tight. So theoretically we could take these stick these aquas out if we wanted. We probably will at the end of the day actually because it's gonna it's had all day to go off. The end of the lintel, we chop that down. It's packed tight with slates underneath and above, so that's all nicely done. I've just got him um, patching around the side of the steel there, patching around the side of the steel there, and the, the other side, replacing the bricks that have fell out. These. So let's get on with that, and then oh yeah, pack the steel up, but not tight. We don't want to push the stick. If we push that too tight, it will start to push the steel down, which we don't want. Right.
This is the utility end. Oh, no, it's not. This is the toilet end. Toilet under the window. And then you've got your utility end. And then you've still got access through because we've built on the boundary. Bust through, cavity cut out. And then obviously the fence to go back in. Nice brick then. They match the house, they match the extension well. And they're close enough to the house as well. You pay double the price for this set the solid clays. But yeah, made up with that. Got there, it took us, it took, it took a while, but we got there in the end. Now, that's made a big difference. There you go, there's a one big awkward steel in and patched up and all that fun stuff and stuck to the door and one extension that has been what's the word? Snagged. We did all the joints, made sure I filled in the ones we missed. Oh, there you go, that was there. Uh, Tough few jobs, but we got it done. <sighs> Glad to see the back of it though. It means I finally got it done after all that waiting and all that uh, messing around with the building inspector and everything. But that'll be the end of this little series. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. That's a great help and we appreciate the support. Any additional support uh, you could give, which is greatly appreciated, you can give the super thanks option, which is just uh, just under the video. And in the description should be Dad's PayPal link for anyone who wishing to give any extra support. Not necessary, but greatly appreciated. So thank you all very much. This has been Brooklyn with Steve and Alex with a very big job. <laughs> for us and we'll see you in the next one.